Okay, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Today we're playing Out of Place, which I think you can understand what it is by the name of the map. Locations out of place, locations you wouldn't expect in certain countries. So I imagine it's going to be fairly difficult. I don't think I've played this map before. And we start off with what looks like it's a Chinese entrance. Uh, yeah, I definitely think this is either, yeah, it's definitely America or Canada with those kind of signs. California. Okay, so we're in California. That's good to know. I'd have to say, like, somewhere northern California or somewhat northern. Mountains in the distance. Help keep red mountain. Well, where's it gonna go? Don't tell me someone's trying to steal a mountain. You got Red Bluff? Is it near here, maybe? Red Bluff? Maybe a red mountain somewhere, surely. Red Bank? Maybe I should just go for the middle somewhere because then I don't lose too many points. I think we're gonna go for some somewhere up here I believe I know this could be completely wrong 140 kilometers that wow that's not even that bad actually I'm pretty happy with that yeah I mean look how far you gotta zoom in there was no way I was gonna be able to find that no way in hell we'll go on to the next round and it looks like we're in Europe but hold on this is city out of place looks like Germany could be Basingstoke in the UK to be honest you never know although here we've got some Chinese writing so I don't think it's Basingstoke looking around uh oh Thames Town here we go okay so I think it's a replica of a UK city I have seen on Google images before Chinese cities replicate in the UK and this is what I'm getting at here it looks like a typical English high street and a name like Thames Town the River Thames in the UK I'm guessing that's what it is Maybe it's an English city trying to be a Chinese city trying to be an English city. This might be the River Thames right here. We don't know. There's no evidence suggesting otherwise. All water looks the same. I think the Google Earth guy could have been a bit more considerate and not stuck me in a tree, you know. If I'm thinking logically here, I would choose somewhere like Beijing or one of the main big cities. But it is by a river as well. Does Beijing even have any rivers? It doesn't look like it. More around here, actually. Maybe near Shanghai because, look, there's rivers around here. A lot more rivers, it seems. And, I mean, we have to be near a river, so I feel like I should just guess some somewhere around here this will be a sick guess if i get this correctly let's just guess around here please 113 kilometers you know what not actually that bad it was actually closer to shanghai we go into the third round now and what is this language is this portuguese i believe maybe no it's, uh there's a domain there i think we should avoid the domain and guess it without looking at the domain domains make it too easy okay we got a river we got a lake in the distance i think it's a lake i can see land on the other side what is this signs amarillo Oh, so this must be the way to Amarillo. I want to know why this one looks out of place though, because to me it just looks Brazilian. I, is this just a completely different continent and they've put up Portuguese signs for no reason? Maybe it's even Portugal. Okay, okay, I had to, I had to. I looked at the domains. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. It would be a very boring round otherwise. It would take forever. There wasn't many hints. So we know it's Argentina now and we just got to look for a place called Amarillo. Can we find it? This should easily be Brazil or Chile. Oh god, this map is a mess. I'm getting so confused. Uh, do we make a guess? I want to guess more southern Argentina, but I'm not too sure either at the same time. Let's go for somewhere a bit more in the middle. Let's go for somewhere around uh, here somewhere. I have no clue. God damn it. Wait, hold on a second. It wasn't even a threat. Oh my god. It was in Argentina. That's, that, that lorry was bait. But that certainly sabotaged our game, I tell you that. We got one more round or two more rounds at least. Oh god, and we can't even move. I hate these kind of rounds so much. I'm not the best when it comes to, you know, guessing the location from sand. I mean, it's certainly difficult, I'll tell you that. Crap, there's not, <laughs> I mean, there's not a lot to look at really. Um, There's trees. Uh, you get them everywhere in the world, to be honest, don't you? Trees. Mountains, okay. Not the Netherlands. We can rule that one out. Mountain has a real steep 90 degree drop as well. That's quite dangerous against health and safety rules, I believe. Someone should probably destroy that mountain. Maybe Asia? I uh, Maybe somewhere in Asia? Maybe... I want to maybe guess this area of Asia. Maybe this area of Asia. Maybe this area of the Earth. Maybe this area. What should be somewhere like Azerbaijan? Turkey, maybe. Maybe possibly Turkey or Georgia. It was Japan. It was Japan. I got 16 points. 16. I've got more than that on my license. Okay, I'm kidding. I don't have more than that on my license. I, I wouldn't be allowed to drive otherwise, but uh, <laughs> God damn, it was Japan. It's not going how I expected, but then again, you don't want to watch a GeoGuessr video where all the locations are correct. That'd be boring, right? 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 This is probably the easiest guess I've ever had. Surely it must be not France. I'm not stupid, okay? This is clearly China. China have a replica of the Eiffel Tower. It's a well-known fact. You know, Britain's close to France. We had a British thing town in China in the past. So, the, you know, the French thing town must be near the British one, surely. The problem is I can't remember where I guessed. Crap, I'm just going here. 
God damn it, it was literally... Oh, I, this is this is the worst game ever. It's near Hong Kong. Shenzhen. Okay, well, I thought it'd be near the British theme town, you know. I thought they might have a load of different theme towns. But apparently not. I'm not happy with this. 13,000 points is disgraceful. The average score is 9,781 though. So I'll tell you what, we've done better than the average person. So I've took some time off to process that last disastrous game that we just played. And I think I'm ready to go on for the second attempt. Hopefully we get 25,000 points, but you never know. And it's pitch black. Just what you want to see. I assume it's just night time. Well, that was a great first attempt. I can only imagine the dude the Earth car ran out of battery. There's a canal. These kind of buildings. Uh, I think this could be Amsterdam, to be honest. We've got a sign up here. It looks very similar to the chilly ones. I wonder if this could be chilly. Um, Looking around, there's not too much to gather, but it is obviously a main city, I imagine, in South America. Maybe Santiago. Does that have rivers flowing through it? No, it doesn't. That is definitely not the location, and there's not a single river. Okay, so that rules that out. <laughs> um, Unless it's like a seaside city, maybe. You know, it could possibly be this city. This one has a river flowing through it, but we can't just judge it because it has a river flowing through it. I mean, London has a river flowing through it. Does it look like London? Absolutely not. Too bad I don't know where that is. I have no clue where that is. Is that Freddie Mercury? Oh, here we go. God bless that person. There's a Brazil flag right there. That is just what you love to see. Uh, unless he's tricking me, unless he's a Geodesa hater, then he could be, you know, sabotaging us. Recife. Hold on a second. Recife. Hold on a second. There's Recife. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't think I am in the slightest, but we're obviously here. Screw it. I'm not going for 5,000 points. We can just guess the location. I'm guessing here. 2.5 kilometers. There you go. It was a different bridge. I was really hoping it was that bridge for a second because that would have looked sick. But I'll happily take it. You know, we're not going to get a 25,000 point round, unfortunately, but I was being way too optimistic anyway. We've got an intense game of chess going on here. There's no people controlling them, so I can only imagine the chess pieces are sentient beings. But anyway, looking at this, uh, we've got many languages down here. The Japanese. No, that's Chinese and I don't know what the other languages are but looking at this sign is that Chinese I think it could be Chinese there's a number there I'm not gonna phone it up I feel like I feel like this is too easy because I know there's Chinese writing but like what part would throw me off you know because this is clearly like China or somewhere or is it you know very European architectures once again uh, that's definitely a European architectural the building is looking a bit slanted however I don't know who built that but they should be fired immediately I mean this is English this is English litter recyclable so Many different languages. I'm starting to think it's like Malaysia or somewhere, you know. I think this could be Malaysia. I have no clue where to go in Malaysia, but, you know, we're just going to go for Malaysia and we're going to pray it's correct. Let's go somewhere around there. It was, it was actually China. It was actually China. I, I, I thought it was China, but I thought it was just going to be really incorrect, you know. Why didn't I just, why didn't I just choose China? Why didn't I just go with where I thought it was? I was trying to be too clever that I made myself stupider. That, that could have been an easy, you know, 4,000 points easily. Third round, I wonder where this could be. It looks like Las Vegas, if you ask me. You've got the roller coaster, you've got the artificial cities. you got New York, it's definitely not New York. This is this is too easy, this is Las Vegas. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that, right? It literally says Las Vegas Boulevard. If this isn't Las Vegas, then Las Vegas needs to file a copyright claim. Actually, they can't really do that. They have literally just stolen the Statue of Liberty. I think we might be along here somewhere because a ritzy lodging with a roller coaster. I think that's where we was. I think it's just here. I could be completely wrong, please. 204 meters, there you go. It was the road just there. Oh, god damn it. They could have just given me one point. They could have just rounded up for me, but no, they have to be petty. God damn it, Geodesa. That was easily... I, I could have, you know, made a redemption and got 25,000 points, but no. You don't need to go on a skiing holiday now. You can literally just drive down this snowy track on Google Earth. Way more fun and less likely to break your arm. Not gonna lie, these trees don't look like the typical trees you would see in a snowy location. They look more Mediterranean or something. Maybe... Uh, uh, do you know what? I reckon this is Australia. It sounds stupid, but I think this might be Australia. And you're gonna be like, there's no snow in Australia. Yes, there is. You're just dumb and you're, you're unwise. Oh my god, we're coming up to the ramp. Is he actually gonna drive over the ramp? Hold on a second. Hold on. Is he actually going to do it? Oh, he's steering off. What a pussy. Look, he went around the sharp ramp. Are we going to go over the edge? Are we going to go over the edge? Is he going to go flying? No, he's not. He's, he's too scared, you see? You know what? I'm going to go for Australia. You're, all, you're all thinking I'm dumb asses, but just wait and see. Just wait and see. I don't know where the ski resort is in Australia, though. Snowy River National Park. Well, if it says snowy, it's got to be around here somewhere, surely. We're going to guess around here, please. 69 kilometers, there you go. You see, you thought I was a dumbass trees in Australia. I know my geography. Thailand or Cambodia, maybe? I don't know what's so out of place about this location. It looks just like, you know, Thailand or Cambodia. 
I guess it could be, with these kind of curbs, they're typically in Malaysia and places like that. There's a flag over there. I'm going to see what flag that is. There we go. Thailand flag. And that is the Thailand flag once again. This is definitely Thailand. Unless I'm making a big mistake and that's the Costa Rica flag. Once again, the Thailand flag over there. This is this is very promising. I say we go for Thailand. And I'm not going to go for the Bangkok region. I've had a round similar to this. And it was further up north around here somewhere. Let's go for a town around here. Somewhere like that. Random guess. 321 kilometers it was actually closer to bangkok maybe i should have chose bangkok then holy crap but you know it's right country so it's good enough 19,000 points is actually really good for this map considering how difficult it is we made the comeback we made a redemption but that's it for today's geodesa video i actually really enjoyed this map so i'll probably make another video with this map in the future but if you did enjoy this video feel free to subscribe we are very close to 100,000 subscribers and your help is very appreciated thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon